personally I don't have a favorite flower I really enjoy every single variety that comes across my table I find beauty in, in different things in different seasons um, you know sometimes something's in bloom in my garden and I absolutely fall in love with it and then I get a new variety imported from Europe and then I fall in love with that so I change my mind all the time um, but something that stays constant is my absolute love and passion for all things flower. I'm definitely not a fan of mixing fresh flowers with fake or artificial flowers. Um, I don't mind using the uh, you know the odd fake or, or silk flower in a headpiece if that's the look the bride is going for but not mixing it. Um, real flowers has got energy, it's got smell, um, it's alive and you can feel it. If you walk into a venue and there's fake flowers um, it's almost like there's a dampening on the energy. So for me, for, for setups and for weddings and for events, fresh flowers all the way. Traditional things such as the little basket filled with petals for the, for the flower girls or the confetti for the bride and groom after the ceremony are things that I feel won't fade out in a modern society. Those are practical things that work. We've tried many other options for little flower girls and what we found is the fact that the basket and the petals is something that keeps them busy um, just helps otherwise those little girls get bored and they start doing all kinds of other things and um, then they get distracted from the task at hand and some of my favorite pictures from ceremony is when the petals are being thrown and the bride and groom walk through it so in my opinion those are must-haves at a wedding. COVID-19 definitely has a massive effect on the wedding industry especially. I think it's going to take a few months after everything's back to normal before we actually be able to operate at a normal level. I think a lot of small companies are suffering and um, yeah it's devastating but I also believe that if we just hang in there and we get through this time that we're going to have an amazing season next year. Um, I think in fact we're going to be so busy we're not going to know what's hit us and even though the situation at the moment is is horrible and yeah a lot of businesses will probably close as well there will be a silver lining that we just need to keep our eye on.